Hanging out with Super Rock Group Prime Circle here in the house, man. What a beautiful Friday morning. I was asking you right now, I mean, like, living the rock and roll lifestyle, and all, do you guys even get time to do your own laundry these days? Is it, I mean, how, how is yeah, it? Yeah, it's awesome. He, like, we, we all take turns. Oh, yeah. no, no. Send it home to the ladies, eh? No, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. We've been, uh, yeah, you're, you're going to get in trouble when you get yeah, home. I think so. <laughs> but, yeah, we, 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 we have time. We, we try and tour and we've just trying to... I think when we started out, we we're doing 200 shows a year. Now we're wow. trying to balance it out and just you know try and do a, a few shows and take a break. Yeah. A few shows, yeah. So now we just buy socks and <laughs> yeah, we just buy clothes, socks every yeah, day on, on, on the road. But of course, it's going to be a lot tougher to do that. Um, you know, have less shows because you've got a brand new album which uh, has been nominated for three Song Awards. Congratulations on that. Thank That's you brilliant. Very much. Um, tell me about the album though, because uh, you know. Fans always expecting, let's say, something new, something more progressive, you know, something that, that makes them feel that the band has taken it to the next level. What have you guys done with Evidence? Well, we learned to play our instruments a bit better, so <laughs> it's always good to do. We, we constantly progress as a band, so we, we, we wanted to make it more guitar-driven, back to the roots of like what we wanted to do rock and roll-wise, and obviously there's still the ballad stuff that's there. I mean, that's something that's in our... Like, oh, we you just, can't lose that, man. Yeah, you can't we, lose that. we love writing like that, and uh, just having a good mix again, so <laughs> from the rock to the soft stuff, it's... Uh, we almost call it like uh, Jacqueline Hyde's little sister, you know, it's like the new thing, you know. Very nice. Yeah. And uh, what about the people you worked with here? Did you kind of try and pull some new faces into the mix to try and give it that new edge? Yeah, well, we, we kind of stuck to the system that works and uh, we got a guy called Kevin Shirley to mix the album. He's in LA. Um, he, he's done like Silver Chair and Aerosmith, those kind of bands. And then we also worked with a guy called Leon Zervas, who's just done the new Muse album. And he's an insane mastering engineer. He's in Sydney, Australia. So uh, that's pretty cool. We spread the love around the world. And oh, yeah. Hey, oh, hey. Nobody need to tour it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> now, three months down the line after release, how's the market receiving the album? Great. I mean, it's, it's, we just want to actually thank the fans. It's been just keeping us in a job, you know. It's, 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 a, it's a blessing to be able to play music. So, uh, and to see the album sell well, and especially when it's something that's a bit of a a passion piece as well. Some of the songs are just sort of like, you have to really dig deep for. So you're putting yourself, your heart in a sleeve and people accepting that and it's awesome. It's really yeah. good to see. I was banged out in the studio. Yeah. 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 But dude, tell me about this. I mean, we, we, we were just kind of briefly touching on it right now that the game has changed a little bit and the market has changed. It's difficult to make it out here yeah. um, as an artist. How are you guys doing, doing that? How are you coping and going about it? You just got to keep your wits about you, keep it positive and, uh, and just keep playing, man. I mean, I think in the end, you've got to create your own kind of vibe, you know, your own venues. I mean, venues, there is a, a lack of venues in the country, but I think in, in across the world, just because uh, CD sales, the uh, market's down and everything like that, right. but in yeah. the end, you just got to rock through it, eh? Everything's gone online now, so I mean, you, you just got to keep with the times and don't get left behind. Yeah. 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 So get up with iTunes, get up with those guys and just get online. Yeah. Man. And speaking of really finding your vibe, I mean, usually at rock bands, they don't even get the chance to get to their fifth album because by then the band didn't make it. Yeah. But you guys, here you are, and uh, you've recorded, you've made it happen. Do you, do you feel like you, you've matured into your sound, you've really found your crowd, you've, found, you've hit your straps essentially? Not really, eh? we still don't know what we're doing. So I think <laughs> it's, a, it's an awesome Love that thing. feeling. Yeah, because it's, I mean, it's a good feeling because every album is a self-discovery and I think this is the, the, it almost feels like the first one. Or, Wow. I think that we still got many albums to go and a lot of learning to do and a lot of progressing to go. Yeah, so you're always trying to better yourself, eh? yeah. so you don't want to get stuck in a rut. So you're always pushing forward and trying to make things better, man. Very true. Yeah. Well, you guys are an inspiration in every sense of the word. Thank it's, you. A, it's an absolute pleasure to have you guys here. Appreciate uh, it. We're going to have a live performance right here on Espresso from Prime Circle. Don't go anywhere.